Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So, guess what I got today in ML? I got something that I was super excited to get. I'm gonna show. I'm gonna show you and do a little bit of a review on it. Now, this is some yarn I ordered from a fellow YouTuber who uh, I think you guys should all check out if you have not. I have mentioned her in the past. Um, Jennifer from. Um, uh, Cinnamon Stitches Crochet. Now, I will put a link to her, her YouTube channel below in the description box. Um, great content. She's super cool. Right on. You're really going to really like her. Um, anyways, I had... <laughs> I'll tell you a little story. Just a real quick a little story. I uh, follow her on Instagram, and she had posted some like sparkly hand-dyed yarn. And I'm like, did you dye that? Is that for sale? And she's like, well, yes, I did. And yes, it's, it's going to be in my Etsy shop. And, and I thought, all right on. I'm going to watch for that because it was really pretty. And um, so she did put it in her Etsy, Etsy shop. And then I bought some of it because I'm super excited. So now, as you know, sometimes hand-dyed yarn, um, a lot of the times, it's expensive. Because, you know, it takes time for the people to hand-dye it. And it's uh, usually made of pretty good fibers. And, you know, they have to buy the, the plain hank. And, you know, it just takes time. So it's it's uh, usually more money than what you can buy at the, what you buy at the big, stock, big box stores. Um, but I don't mind. I, don't, I like to support uh, fellow YouTubers. And I love to support uh, fellow... Any, I like to support people on Etsy because homemade things are cool, really, no matter what they are. And homemade yarns, awesome. So, this comes from um, Cinnamon Stitches, Jennifer. Now, I ordered it, I don't know, my gosh, how long it took to get here. Three days, maybe four at the most. I mean, super fast. She shipped it right away. I think I ordered it that night. I think she shipped it the next day. Priority super fast it was free shipping um and you really can't beat that so let's open it <laughs> i'm excited to see what's in it i won't count myself i won't i won't i promise anyways so let's see what we got yes an invoice with prices I love invoices with prices. I already brought it up though, just in case. So I can also tell you the content of what is in it. Yep. It says order date March 13th. Today is the 16th. So I got it. I ordered it on the 13th. Got it in three days later. <laughs> Smoking fast. All right. So there's a card in here. Um, I take it she knew it was me. I would imagine she did because she does know my name. I'm going to read this real quick because I'm not going to read it on camera because I don't know if she puts a card in everybody's box. Thank you very much, Jennifer, for that card. I'm not going to read that on camera because I don't know if I'm supposed to, but um, I appreciate your kind words and you're very welcome. You have an awesome channel and I do love it. Okay, so she did. They when whenever you look at them on her uh, site, she just has a few left, and I don't even know how often she has them. But um, they are they were in a hank, and she did cake them up. She sent me a message and said she usually cakes them up, and that's awesome. Unless I have to do, huh? Let's see what we got here. <laughs> it's so pretty. It's so sparkly. It's gorgeous now some of these are lightweight yarns you know I'm not a fan of lightweight yarns but if the yarn is pretty enough I'll use it <laughs> even if it is a lightweight yarn you all know that tell me that isn't gorgeous sparkly pretty hand dyed yarn oh my gosh that's pretty And look at the blue in it. You should have seen it. Uh, she had it kind of laying out. Um, what it looks like. And it's got the blue and all the purple. This one I think was my favorite. The blue and the purple mixed in it. And it is extra sparkly. Let me make sure my camera is picking up that correct color. Because like I mentioned before. I got a new phone I'm recording with. And it is really picking up true colors on the yarns that I am showing. 
That's pretty accurate. And it is beautiful, beautiful yarn. I like that. Let me take this out of focus off my screen now. Oh. My goodness. Okay. So this was one. Um, now these run $22 a hank. She does ball them or cake them up for you, which is super cool in my opinion. Less work I have to do because I really don't like to cake up here and I that this don't it's not something I enjoy. Now uh the, I got five skeins or five balls here that were of the same weight class and yardage and then i did get one that was thicker and i actually wish that i would have got another one of that because it does look very pretty but anyways let's talk about these sparkly ones they are 181 yards of uh, number one uh, fingering sock weight uh primary fiber alpaca secondary fiber lurex so 66 percent baby alpaca 34 percent uh lurex this is this one is the uh gorgeous baby pink alpaca yarn with a heavy dose of a silver sparkle i love sparkle and i like that she used the word heavy dose because it is very heavily sparkled that is so pretty it really is that is gorgeous now the way classification she said was a one and a one um what does it say one fingering sock weight i don't know you know it's it could be classified as a one i might consider that like two i don't know you guys can make your own choice you guys can make your own uh, guess on that tell me what you think about it in the comments but there it is like i said i got a camera i'm trying to figure it out still it's weird and uh for me to get it to focus it's it's funky ah there we are there we are i had it and then it disappeared just a second there it is ain't that pretty beautiful look at that it's actually a little bit thicker than i thought it would be which is awesome in my opinion because i don't like <laughs> one weights but I was going to use it anyways because it's so pretty um I think she did an excellent dye job actually the sparkle is very pretty it's not at all the streamer that runs through it is not at all itchy scarfable scarfable so I got this beautiful pink now I since the yardage was 181 yards I thought it was going to be a one weight it appears to be a little bit thicker to me like I said good thing I was going to use these four collars and make a uh, shorter uh, um, scarf or triangle cowl, but I think I have enough to make a smaller shawl out of it, actually. And these are the collars I got. I got this gorgeous pink and blue one, or purple and blue one, which I showed you. It's super, super pretty. Smoking sparkly. Super, super outrageous sparkly pretty pretty pink to go with that and then I got these two colors also which I am planning to incorporate like that blue matches the blue inside this hat looks like appears that has like a little bit of a darker blue on the inside and then it goes to light it's very pretty and then we got the green which looks like it might have some tan or some light grays in the middle i can't tell going out to green but i'm going to use all these and incorporate them all into one project what do you guys think yay or nay i think i can make it work it's springtime these are spring colors i'm going to make something with all all four of these colors did i say three all four of these colors together but anyways they are all very very pretty very nice fiber content they're nice and squishy and soft. The weight is great. The, like I said, what did I say? 181 yards is, it's it's nice for it being um, a hand dyed. It's not a bad price for a hand dyed yarn, $22. Um, and I appreciate the time she put into that. It's so pretty. It's very, very pretty. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm purple's my fave it's so pretty with that with that uh blue in it 
Okay, enough of the sparkles. They're gorgeous, but the next one I got is called Rainbow Dye Worsted Weight Wool Yarn, and it was actually $22 also. I'm going to tell you how much yardage is in that one real quick. My gosh, that's the green one. Okay, there's 252 yards, and this is a number four uh, weight yarn. So, that's a nice price. I think it's a nice amount of yardage for it being hand dyed actually i think that's i mean that's fair it is fair um it's a one this is it says this yarn is a worsted weight in rainbow i love rainbow colors i do um 100 all natural wool 100 grams 252 yards so let's check it out feels like wool scarfable scarfable if you guys haven't tuned into my last episode when i say scarfable it means i would wear it as a scarf trademarked by bag of day crochet no i'm just i'm just joking with that that's pretty let's look at it let me pull some out here i like the way she kicked it up for me okay so here's what the dyes are the colors appear to be about well they're all different lengths beautiful just like hand dyed very pretty and it is it's definitely a four weight yarn i like it look at all the pretty colors in there all different ones Ain't that pretty stuff there it is i might actually get another one of these if she has any more in her shop i don't know how often she puts this in her shop these yarns in her shop i don't know how often she dyes yarns Maybe if she's watching this video, she can let me know in the comments how often she dyes these yarns and how often she puts them in her shop. It does appear that she has a few left, um, if you guys are interested. Um, if I don't get to them first. No, I'm just joking. I'm joking. I won't buy them all. I won't buy them all. So people's like, you buy everything. I'm just kidding. I won't. She, but I do recommend you go check them out because she does have some other, a few uh, hanks left of some really pretty yarn. Um, so, I'm... I know that I know Jennifer from Cinnamon Stitches, and I know that I mentioned her before, and I am, she, I bought this yarn, I, she didn't give it to me, I bought it, full price, and I, and even though I know her, um, you know, from YouTube, I don't know her personally, but I know her from YouTube, and I do recommend her channel quite often, and I do watch her, every video that she puts out did not influence my uh decision on or did not influence or sway the way i feel about these yarns i could tell by looking at them that i like them and i do like almost all hand dyed yarns that i buy anyways so uh, her being a fellow youtuber a fellow podcaster in no way influenced this yarn that i bought if i didn't like it i mean i would say kindly that it wasn't for me but I really do like it so I love it a lot I think she did a very very nice job um, at dyeing it and it's so pretty I can't wait to work with these sparkly yarns I'm just happy that it's a little thicker in my opinion you know maybe not everybody's but in mine I think it's a little thicker than a one weight and that's awesome for me because that just means thicker yarn easier for me to work with but that is so stinking pretty and it's not at all itchy I'm going to make a lightweight, like I said, shawl or some type of, uh, with these four together. And like I said, it's springtime. Those all match. Those will go good. Maybe I'll do something with flowers. I got some green leaves, some flower colors. You never know what Bod's going to come up with, but I know whatever it is, it's going to be super sparkly. Hopefully pretty. I know it's not everything I make is pretty, but hopefully and then this one is very very beautiful too if you get more of this i'll probably buy another but i do like uh the rest all the other ones that you have left too this one's super pretty now this what i say 241 yards or 252 yards in this that's enough you know to make a really gorgeous scarf and that might be what i do with that since it's wool i would wear it too because it's rainbow i actually have another rainbow scarf that every once in a while i'll wear um because it's rainbow and it matches my jacket but that's beautiful i love them both um so that's that's it um 
one thing I did want to do is I was going to do a little quick crochet with this uh, with this yarn. Now, even though it's thin yarn, I personally still use big hooks on thin yarns because that's what I do. Um, normally, I don't do this on my unboxings, but I'm going to do it. So this was the thinner yarn. I'm going to use an eye which is a five and a half a millimeter crochet hook. I always never drop barely under a five millimeter. Even if the yarn's thin, it just gives it a, gives it a drapier look. I just wanna make sure this didn't have any uh, splitting in it. I'm gonna turn my camera around, okay? So you guys want to stare at me and watch me crochet. Just a second, let me turn my camera. Okay, let's check this out now at a better angle here. Okay, I tried to brighten it up a bit so it you can see it better. I'm going to do a little bit of crocheting with this. Sorry if my hands are shaking. You know I drank some caffeine before I did this video. Gives me, uh, makes me not so, or it makes me more talkative and not so nervous, I guess. But then it makes my hands super shaky. And it makes me where I never shut up, like right now. I just wanted to show you how this crocheted up and I want to make sure that I'm telling you accurately to go buy from Cinnamon Stitches. Of course, I think that I am, but you always got to be certain. Oh yeah, it's not splitting at all. Not at all. And I'm so stoked that in my personal opinion, it's a little thicker than, you know, it's thicker than a one. That is so cool for me. That helps me out so much. Um, and the sparkle is just outrageously sparkly. I'm having no trouble at all. Think of a lightweight top with this sparkly yarn. All these colors put together in it would be super, super beautiful. Oh, no. Sorry, guys. All those put together would be so pretty. I'm so excited. I'm so happy with my purchase. Thank you very much. So, I'm going to go. As you can see, it didn't split. I just wanted to make sure that sparkles didn't split or anything in it. I knew it wouldn't, but I mean, by looking at it, I could tell that it wasn't going to do that. But the dye awesome, it, or the dye job is awesome. It's so pretty. I love all the colors, and I'm gonna, definitely going to make something with this. It's either going to be a top or some sort of shawl. I'm going to incorporate all four colors of these uh, lighter weights, and then dur I'll probably make a shawl or a scarf with this. I don't know if I'll make it this year, or I might wait till fall probably maybe i can make it soon since it's still spring and make a lacy shawl maybe make a lacy scarf or something like that but that is my review of cinnamon stitches hand dyed yarn remember it's all very very pretty very soft very gorgeous now if she is watching which i i'm going to assume that she'll probably watch it sometime if she could leave in the comments and uh jennifer if you could uh, how often do you have your hand dyed yarns in your Etsy shop? Could you let me know? <laughs> and everybody else that's watching too. Um, how often you do your own dyed yarns. Because they are very gorgeous. And like I said, I love to support um, other uh, people people that sell on Etsy. And I love to support like your uh, fellow YouTuber that not only do you do YouTube, you dye your own yarn. So um, that's even, even, you know, that's awesome too. So... Uh, let me know in the comments if you're watching how often you do this. And then you guys all look for the tutorial of this. Um, of whatever it's going to be. But yeah, thumbs up to Jennifer. Good job. Her link to her channel will be below. I'll also link up her, uh, her Etsy shop. Um, I don't know how much she has left right now. But you can sure head over there and check it out. Um, I would highly recommend it. I don't think anybody would be disappointed in any of this yarn at all and don't forget to subscribe to her channel if you haven't hey don't forget to subscribe to me either if you haven't give this video a thumbs up thanks everybody for watching thank you cinnamon i like it all i love it all it will all become something beautiful and thanks for taking it up for me bye bye everybody